A much cheaper, faster and more intelligent dog-like robot might be the biggest competitor to Boston Dynamics Spot at the moment. Even as a relatively new company, Unitry Robotics has been making waves in the industry with its already released and battle-tested Spot robot alternatives. Welcome to AI News. In this episode, I will be showing you all of Unitry's groundbreaking abilities, its very affordable price, even for regular consumers, and how it is using artificial intelligence to its advantage. Four-legged dog-like robots have gotten increasingly popular in the last two years, mostly due to Boston Dynamics' incredible media coverage, public relations through their viral videos, and most importantly, the quality of their spot robot. But due to this hype, many other companies that are in the same industry of creating helpful and fun robots, are left completely ignored even though they are just as, if not more feature-rich and high-quality as Spot is. The company which looks to be the most promising, called, Unitree Robotics, is from mainland China, according to its founder, was greatly inspired by Boston Dynamics itself. The CEO of Unitree, Chinese roboticist Xing Wang, has always been a big fan of the countless spot prototypes and viewed the Boston Dynamics founder, Mark Raybert, as an idol. Unitree has brought four different robots onto the market already, first the A1 robot, who I consider to be the most impressive one of them all. He is much smaller compared to other four-legged robots but uses that to its advantage. For one, he is much faster than Spot, at around 4 meters a second, the ability to jump and do backflips, gesture recognition and it is even able to follow a person with its advanced object recognition and memory system. The battery can last up to 2 hours, which considering its compact size, is really impressive compared to Spot's 90 minutes. You can buy it off their website for less than $10,000 which compared to Spot's $80,000, is an absolute steal. Next we have AlienGo, who has a similar size to what we are used to with Spot and similar robots. Just like A1, dexterity is a huge advantage it has compared to Spot. Backflips and jumping are not an issue. But while A1 is mainly just meant for entertainment or getting to hard-to-reach places due to its 4kg carrying limit, AlienGo can carry objects with up to 10kg and most amazingly, its battery can last up to 5 whole hours. That is 2.5 times longer than Spot. With its advanced camera system, it has the ability to visualize human skeletons, faces and track a selected targeted person. By moving through the world, it uses litter to make a comprehensive 3D map of all the places it has been to for both its own memory and for further review from people. The third and fourth robots aren't anything too special compared to AlienGo and A1. With the Likago Pro being the predecessor and development unit to AlienGo and A1. Ben Ben is mainly just A1 with a different coat of paint and a pre-made dancing sequence programmed in. It was created to celebrate the Chinese Year of the Ox, which started this year and will continue for another 12 years. The purpose of Unitree Robotics is to create robots that are socially useful for many different tasks. For example, they will interact with people through verbal or non-verbal gestures and other social cues as well as through verbal interaction just like you would expect a living being to do so. These robots are equipped with a four-legged artificially intelligent, self-riding system. The A1 robot is capable of performing complex movements with the legs that can interact in different environments and in real time. The reason it has all these capabilities is that unlike Boston Dynamics, which requires all of Spot's functions to be programmed in manually, Unitree's robot are largely based on an AI deep learning approach where the robots are trained in a simulation where they have to move around and complete tasks in ever-changing virtual environments. This approach is highly more efficient than having to manually update Spot, putting him onto some training area and then retrieving him for analysis. The deep learning method automates this process completely so that only the best and smartest versions of the robot actually get through to production and no big area for training is required. But just like with all the similar robots before it, in general, society might not be as keen on having these robots be commonplace as you might think for several reasons. First of all, it's important to remember that this is a Chinese company and in China, things like privacy and the public's opinion on things often aren't considered when new technology comes along. According to papers obtained by the American Civil Liberties Union of Massachusetts and leaked to the public, the same practical traits that made Spot exciting and fun to some and terrifying to others have piqued the interest of the Massachusetts State Police, which has become the first law enforcement agency in the U.S. to put the robotic dog to work. 
For many years, the police have utilized robots to aid them in responding to dangerous circumstances, using them to investigate suspected dangerous goods and clear high-risk areas where armed criminals may be present. The robot was given the job of inspecting potentially hazardous things and unsafe situations that may include criminal suspects or explosive devices, and it did an excellent job. The pushback from social media was so big, that many government organizations have already walked back on having more robots join the police and firefighters. But can we expect China to do the same if the outcry of the Chinese was loud enough? I have my doubts. Although the question is, should they do so anyway? People in general are afraid of change and slowly having robots become part of our society is a pretty big one and has been used as an example of a dystopian future ever since science fiction existed. These robots really have lots of uses in rescue missions where using humans would just be too dangerous, or even as pets. See my CODA video to see how a pet robot could look like. So judging from these advantages, I believe that the step back from the police and government is only temporary until society becomes more sensitized to robots. This will most likely happen with the help of robots that they themselves can buy at a relatively cheap price. And Unitree is doing exactly that. Giving regular people the ability to buy something, that was up to now only reserved for big corporations or rich people. Unitree is intended for mainstream and public use all over the world. So what is your opinion on Unitree Robotics and its pretty affordable robots? Would you get one yourself considering how easy it is to set up and use or is the price of almost $10,000 still too high for you? Do you want anything to do with robots anyway? Or do you want to stay as far away from them as possible? Especially considering that this robot comes from a country that is acting pretty suspiciously in terms of ethics? Please tell us in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.